Metro is decommissioning our 40-year-old 2000 series trains. Crews are loading up cars one by one and taking them to a recycling facility. The work starts early, 7 a.m. at our Greenbelt Yard in Maryland. Crews that specialize in transporting unusual objects back their truck up to a ramp leading to the tracks. Metro strips most of the usable parts off the once 38-ton vehicle. The shell is mostly what remains. A winch is attached to the train and it slowly pulls it up the ramp. And we do mean slow. It moves only a few feet every minute. From there, it will be rolled onto a custom truck trailer with rails. A mechanical team from Metro salvages one last part, couplers that are compatible with other trains in the fleet. It took crews about an hour to load it, but the truck can't leave until 9 a.m. State law says these oversized vehicles can't be on the road until after rush hour. It takes special maneuvering to get this 75-foot long train around corners and out of the rail yard. 74 cars are set to go to a recycling facility in Sparrows Point near Baltimore in the coming weeks. There, giant cranes will pick up the cars and rip them apart, salvaging the metal and other parts. If you're driving up I-95 in the next few months, you may just see a retired Metro car right next to you.